Greetings and welcome to Asia L Artisan Body Care. Happy Spring 2018 to you all. In today's video, I'm going to be lather testing three new creamy coconut oil soaps for your viewing and infotainment pleasure. So without any further ado, let's get into what you came here for. First up for the illustrious lather test will be the activated charcoal soap, which is ideal for oily skin types. And it is also great for the occasional detox for normal skin. And next we'll be lather testing my Anaya scented soap, which is inspired by my beautiful tiny little baby niece. And it is beautifully scented with a beautiful pink mycelin. And last but not least, I'm going to be lather testing Cloud9, which is a heavenly scented soap with a beautiful micro swirl on the top. Every lather test for my soaps consists of two parts. I first lather the soap in my hand and then using a bath sponge. And I have a checklist of qualities that I look for in the soap. One of the qualities I'm not looking for in this particular soap is fragrance because the activated charcoal soap happens to be fragrance free. But I'm looking for the actual feel and texture of the bar. I'm looking for the lather. I'm looking also for um, if the soap bleeds any color. In this case, it's an activated charcoal soap, so you will see some evidence of the activated charcoal in there. But no need to worry because it won't harm or damage your sink, your tub, or your skin. But what I'm doing here is just seeing how well it lathers in the hand and uh, taking note of how creamy it feels, how well it will rinse off the skin, and just in general seeing the quality of the soap. If they don't meet my personal checklist of qualities, then they're not put on my website and they're not offered to you to help maintain your beautiful skin. Once I'm happy with the feel and performance of the soap on my hands, I then lather test it on a bat sponge. The activated charcoal soap is currently available on my website. I will leave a link in the description box so you can check it out and purchase it yourself. And the other two soaps that I'm going to be lather testing in this video will be available to purchase on my website March 28th. Next up for my lather test is the Anaya scented soap. I split the soap in half because I wanted you to see the mica line and I wanted to demonstrate how the mica will just rinse off and it will not stain any of your fixtures and it won't stain your skin. All of the colors that I use in my soaps are vegan and cruelty free. For every batch of soap I make, I set aside what I call control bars. It's what I use to test the quality of the soap as it's going through its curing stages. Even if it's a soap that I've made in the past, it also goes through my lather testing throughout the curing stages. It's my way of maintaining the consistent quality of my soap that my customers trust me to make and have grown to love.
The final soap for my lather test will be the awesome and outstanding Cloud9. It is a fresh from the shower scent. I'm going to be using a tiny but mighty little piece of the soap to do my lather test. And also I want to take a moment to thank all of my subscribers and all of my new subscribers. Thank you and welcome. And for those of you who posted a question or left a comment, thank you so much for that too. And if you're a new viewer and you're thinking, I don't know, maybe I'll subscribe, maybe not, just go ahead and do it. You know you want to. If you would like to see the making and cutting of all of the soaps in this video, they are posted right here on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, everyone. See you soon.